What's going on people and welcome back to another Premier League predictions for game week 21. I'm glad it's back. I miss it when there's no games. So thick and fast, let's get into it. Let me know who your club has and how you fancy their chances this week. And let's go. First up, half 12 Saturday, we've got a quite a big game. We've got Liverpool versus Chelsea. Both teams struggling at the moment. I think it makes the game more exciting, if anything, because I think it's very unpredictable what will happen. And I've actually gone 1-1. One, one. Um, I think Liverpool at Anfield, maybe it favours them slightly, but the form both teams are in, I think it makes it more exciting. So up in the air for this one, but I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. And starting the 3 o'clock kickoffs, we got Bournemouth versus Nottingham Forest. I'm going with a 2-1 home win to, to Bournemouth in this one. I feel like O'Neill waiting for a win since he took over full time pretty much and I think uh, Steve Cooper is doing a fantastic job with Forrest in recent weeks. They probably have a little bit more confidence but it's at Bournemouth I just feel like the home team might snatch it so I'm gonna go 2-1 Bournemouth. Leicester versus Brighton. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with Trossard obviously he's just been snatched up by Arsenal which for me I knew he was having a little bit of trouble with a Serbi but it's a little bit out of the blue for me, um, and they made it quickly happen. So, fair play to Arsenal, adding to their talented squad already. I've gone with an away win in this one, 2-0 Brighton. Southampton versus Aston Villa. Southampton rock bottom. They were my prediction to be flop team of the season, and it looks to be going that way. And Aston Villa and Emery, who are a little bit slow to start under him, but I think they'll have enough in this one. Um, I've gone with a 2-1 away win to Villa. West Ham versus Everton. I think this could be a very scrappy game, lots of bookings. Hopefully it's, it's a good level though of quality of football. Lampard severely under pressure, as is Moyes. Both of them will be scraping and fighting for their lives in this one. I've gone with a way win, 1-0 Everton. And then lastly for Saturday's games, guys, half-five kickoff. Crystal Palace versus Newcastle. Newcastle on a fantastic run this season. I think Eddie Howe should get manager of the year. I think he's been brilliant and the squad's been backing it up. So Palace, inconsistent. Obviously got a draw recently against Man United, but probably should have won that United and threw it away at the end. Newcastle, for me, I think will have too much in this one. I've gone for a 2-0 away win. Sunday's games, we've got three of them. Two o'clock kickoff, Leeds versus Brentford. I've gone with an away win, 2-0 to Brentford. I feel like Marsh is... Uh, Letting a job get to him a bit now. I feel like you can tell by his body language. He's not the same positive guy he was when he first went in there. He still kind of talks it in, in the press, in the interviews and stuff. But I feel like you can tell that he, he's not as optimistic as he was. Even though he speaks a good game. Um, but I do like Leeds and watching them. But they're just too open. Um, so I think Brentford will take advantage of that. 2-0 away win. Man City versus Wolves. Two o'clock kickoff also. I've gone with a 1-0 home win to City in that one. And I was very surprised, but it was refreshing to see Pep come out in the Tottenham game yesterday in the post-match interview and, and pretty much have it and go at his players for being too comfortable. Um, it was really refreshing to see. He'll be hoping for a massive response from them because he's been saying that they've been conceding too many goals and going behind too much. They haven't been fully at it this season. But they still ended up winning the game yesterday 4-2 after being 2-0 down. But I was I just thought it was refreshing to see from Peps criticising his players of not having the guts. So they're not going to like that and hopefully they'll bounce back from that in terms of what he wants from them. They're, when they're on it, they're unstoppable and they're entertaining to watch. So I'm going to go over 1-0 City win in that one. Half four kickoff last game on Sunday, Arsenal versus Manchester United. The big one grew up on this rivalry, so for me, this is the biggest game, even over Liverpool, because of that that run we had with them against Wenger. I've gone with a 2-2. Obviously, with Casemiro, it's a lot harder than it would have been now, going to the Emirates and against them, who are there full of confidence. And I actually think they will win the, the league now. Uh, asked me a few weeks ago, I probably still would have said City, but I'm convinced now that Arsenal are going to do it. But I fancy us to get something from the game, even with Casemiro out. And you've got to remember, we did beat them without Casemiro last time. I'm going with a 2-2 draw. And then the last game of this game week, guys, on Monday at 8 o'clock, we've got Fulham versus Tottenham. Tottenham, obviously, 
like I said, just threw the game away against City um, after being in an adva advantageous position. But it's nothing new with Tottenham. They are the bottlers of world football, in my opinion. They should be doing a lot better than they than they are. And Fulham, fantastic this season. They really deserve credit. I think Silva deserves credit, the job he's doing there. And the players deserve credit because they're consistently winning. And I see no different in this game. Three points for them in this one for me for Fulham with a 3-0 home win. Let me know your predictions in the comments, guys. Be good to see them. Um, tomorrow, I will be dropping my preview for the Arsenal versus Manchester United game. So look out for that, and I will be doing my starting eleven in that as well. And I'll be doing a match recap and player ratings on Monday um, after the game the next day, as usual. I appreciate everyone supporting, and next week at some point, I'll probably be doing another player versus player. So get over to the community tab and vote if you haven't already. It's got a lot of votes, but if you haven't, go and vote and have your say. And I'll see you guys soon.